Hi, my name is Roger, and I sing Sing It Louder on the Covenant Worship album, Reside. While we were on our writer's retreat last fall, one of our pastors joined us, and during one of our times of worship before our next session, he took some time to talk about the power of praise and how it can impact us, our world, and our culture. He started to talk about the beauty of how all creation is constantly singing out praises to God how the trees, the winds, the sky, and the rocks are constantly giving glory to Him just by existing. He said that as the children of God, we should actually be singing louder than creation itself. I mean, these rocks and these trees that are giving glory to God don't even have mouths to sing songs to the Lord. But still, so often, we can find ourselves remaining silent when tough situations arise to the surface. Why is that? We've been given a mouth for a reason, to give God all of the glory that He willingly laid down to save us from the grip of sin and death. We have the opportunity to return to God the breath that He first breathed into our lungs in the beginning through songs of praise and adoration. Wow. That's just such an amazing thought to me. We have such an amazing opportunity because we're not only God's chosen people, but we have the opportunity to declare truth over our friends, over our families, inviting Jesus into our homes and our cities as we watch Him transform us with the power of His presence. Creation is singing His praise over and over and over again. I don't know about you, but I want to sing it louder. Louder over my family, louder over my city, and over the world, and watch and see what He does. I want to take some time to pray with you today. Why don't you bow your heads wherever you are, and let's pray. Father, we are so thankful for the breath that is in our lungs. We're so thankful for the words that you've given us to praise you. Father, the gift of language is so amazing. And Father, we just, we say right now that nothing can hold us back. We are free from all of the shackles that have held us down. And we say right now that you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. And creation may be singing your praises over and over again, but we as your children want to sing it louder, louder over our families, louder over our cities, louder over the world. Because as you are worthy, you are holy, you are mighty. And we just invite you in our life right now. Nothing is too hard for you. Nothing is too hard for you. We love you, Jesus, and we praise you. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus that we just sing today.